stood at the gatehouse said, you can't work here no more. That's the trouble. Every place you find. Don't you take that call. There might be trouble on the line. Mailbox full of letters, and you can just get by. One is from the IRS, and you begin to cry. That's trouble. Every place you find Don't you take that call It might be trouble on the line That's trouble, man Check out the new crib. Not bad. Now if it were only closer to LA. We're only two and a half hours away and just think, Chels, no more rent, no more nosy apartment managers. No more eviction notices, I get it. It was very thoughtful of your Aunt Evelyn to bequeath it to you. God rest her soul. And what I really love about it, when my mom comes to visit, she's gonna have her own room. Mm. So, what do you think? Well, I could definitely use a decorator's touch. My only real beef is the lack of plumbing in the second bathroom. Don't worry, we're gonna get that fixed when we have the money. And remember, like I said, this is just for a year or two until the market picks up and then we'll flip the house and move back to LA. Yeah. I just hope we can find some work in this podunk town. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. the cell phone service out here. Still can't get a signal? Not only if I stand out in the street and like turn a certain way. What's the problem? I don't know. He said it might have something to do with the local power plant or something. That sucks. What are we gonna do for phone service? I guess we just spring for a landline. Hmm. Hey. Hey, what you doing? Just updating my resume. Yeah? Yep. Any luck with the garage door? No, it still won't open. Mm. Okay. I'm going to the sack. Okay, I'll be right there. I love you. Love you. Oh, what time's our first interview tomorrow? 11. Hello, you've reached the Tyler Johnson and Chelsea Watkins resident. How may I be of assistance to you? Hello? Really? Hello? I'm sorry, can you, can you hear me right now? I'm gonna hang up, okay? I'm sorry, you've got the wrong number. Hey, don't even think about pulling that shit on me. I know it's you. Trust me, lady, there's no Eric here, okay? Have a good night. Jesus. What? Why did you hang up on me? 
Look, there's no one named Eric at this number, so stop calling, okay? Eric, it's Ellen. I don't give a shit what your name is, all right? I'm not Eric, so stop calling me. Seaweed concoctions? Yep. Want some? No, thanks. I'll pass. Uh, by the way, we had 36 voicemails this morning. Really? Mm -hmm. From who? Not sure, but I think it was the same chick who called last night. What did she say? Nothing. All she does is breathe into the phone, then hang up and call back. Weird. Did you save any of them? Nope. Cleared them all. When was the last time she called? 4.30, nothing since then. Hmm, maybe she gave up on us. Mm. Are you sure you don't want some of this? Look, I love you, but that is disgusting. <gasps> Just a little, babe. Look, I'm gonna drink my coffee like a normal human being. This is better for you. Please, if you make me drink that, I'm gonna throw up all over you. <gasps> please, 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 please. <laughs> Yes, I, I completely understand. Thank you very much for your time anyways. Bye. So what was the reason this time? Same thing as last time, no local references. Well, how in the hell are we supposed to build local references if no one will hire us without them in the first place? I think there's more to it than that. I, I say for future interviews, we don't mention that we're actors from LA that need to be available to go on auditions because in small towns like this, they just don't get people like us. Okay, so basically we're screwed if we find a job and screwed if we don't. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. <sighs> What? We're kind of in the middle of dinner. No, we're in the middle of eating romaine lettuce, which I don't think really constitutes dinner. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Don't answer it. No, babe, if it's her, she's just gonna keep calling and calling. Just unplug it. No, we've gotta nip this in the butt right now. Hello? Look, lady, I've tried to be nice about this, but I have told you over and over again, there is no one named Eric who lives at this number. So stop calling us, or we're gonna be forced to call the police. What do you mean, us? Is there someone there with you? That's none of your business, okay? Are you gonna stop calling here, or what? You have a woman there, don't you? Okay, have a good night, bye. This is getting ridiculous. Look, in the morning, I'm just gonna call the- You know what? Allow me. Look, Ellen, or whatever the hell your name is, you're starting to be a royal pain in the ass. Stop calling us. Put Eric back on the phone, bitch! Lady, are you deaf? There is no Eric here. We definitely need to unplug it. Man. How many were there? 58. Any messages? No. Nope. Just heavy breathing like last time. What are we gonna do? What the hell is a ghost line? It's a line you can make phone calls from without having a specific number. And there's no way to trace it? No, sir, I'm afraid not. How is that even possible? It's hard to explain. Would you like to speak with my supervisor? No, that's not gonna be necessary. Look, can you just tell me who had the number before us? Sorry, but we're not allowed to give out that kind of information. But what I can do is provide you with a new phone number. That should solve your problem. Perfect. And 
boom goes the dynamite. Oh no. Is that Heather? No, it's another unknown caller. Well, go ahead and answer it. It can't possibly be that Ellen bitch. All right. Put on speaker. Hello? Hey, Bobby, what's up, man? Just checking in to see how you two are doing in the new digs. Oh, yeah, everything's cool. Hey, listen, how come your name didn't come up on the caller ID? Oh, it's this new cell phone. I'm still trying to figure it out. Bobby, it's Chelsea. Hey, Chels. What's shaking? It's all good. We miss you guys. Oh, we miss you, too. Hey, hold, hold on a sec, man. I got another call. All right. Crap, this thing ain't working. I'll call you back in a few, okay? Okay, take your time, man. Oh, I can't wait to find out if Heather got that part on Serenity Falls. Oh, I know. I just hope she had a better experience with that casting director than you did, because he seemed more interested in your tits than your acting ability. Actually, he was kind of cute for an older guy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud, that was quick. Hello? Did you really think you could get rid of me that easily? Mr. Jansen, other than identifying herself as Ellen, did she reveal any information such as where she lives or where she works? No. And Mrs. Jansen, how many times did you actually talk to her? Once. And my last name is Watkins, but you can call me Chelsea. And I'm Tyler. Okay, Tyler and Chelsea. Well, let me get this straight. Phone call started right after you moved in. Yeah, they started the first night that we got the landline. And they've all been at night. That's correct. And what was the word the phone company used? Ghost line? Right. You know, what, what I don't understand is how this woman got your new number. Welcome to the club. Have you noticed any suspicious looking women around the neighborhood? No, we haven't been outside much though. I see. Hey, where are you folks from? LA. I just inherited the place from a relative who unexpectedly passed away. Oh, well, I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay. Well, I'll talk to the phone company and see if there's anything else they can do. Detective Tanner, what if she calls again tonight? Well, until we figure out who this woman is, I suggest you don't answer any unknown calls. But she'll just keep calling back. Unplug it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'll be in touch. I was thinking maybe we could try that Mexican place over by the bowling alley. As long as we have strong margaritas. Yeah, babe, I like that style. I thought you would. After three? <laughs> you think? What I think is, I'm gonna hurl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. oh no, not tonight. Just like before, all we can hear is heavy breathing. Well, I'm no psychologist, but we might be dealing with a psychopathic insomniac who has a fixation on this Eric guy, and she's refusing to believe that you're not him. Well, what can we do about it? If we identify her, we can take the appropriate legal steps to force her to stop harassing you. How do you plan on identifying her? That's going to require some effort on your part. But as an actor, it shouldn't be a problem. So how do you want me to handle this? Well, try to get her to talk about herself. Maybe she'll slip up and tell us where she lives. 
Detective, did you find out who had our original number before us? I did. It belonged to Patrick and Maggie Detweiler. They gave it up when they moved away about eight and a half years ago. And it's been inactive since then? Yeah. Oh, and I found out how she got your new number. Some idiot at the phone company put in a change of number notification. So anyone who calls the old number automatically... It's her. Put it on speaker. Hello? Is anyone there? Who are you expecting? What do you want, Ellen? I want you, Eric. Yeah, I get that, but like I've been trying to tell you, I'm not Eric. Why do you keep saying that? Because it's the truth. Stop lying! Of all your undesirable traits, that's the one I've always hated the most. Look, Ellen, if this Eric dude is such a terrible guy, then why do you still want him? Uh, what woman? You know who I'm talking about. No, I'm home alone. Liar! I bet she's listening in. Look, Ellen, it's just you and me on the phone, okay? Now, if you'll just tell me where you are, I'll... <coughs> Jesus. What the hell was that? The Hello? Ellen, are you still there? Bitch hung up. This is worse than I thought. That woman is utterly delusional. Oh, she is worse than delusional. This chick is unhinged. Yeah, no shit. What do you want me to do next time she calls? What do you want me to say? Uh, something to draw her out. I got it. Tell her that she's right and that you've just been playing with her. You want me to falsely admit that I'm this Eric guy? Exactly. And then ask to meet her somewhere in public. I don't like that idea. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it either. Well, do you want to find out who she is or not? All right. Yeah, if that's what you think it's going to take to end this nightmare. Excellent. Well, it's been over an hour. If she doesn't call soon, I'm going to have to leave. I understand. Here we go. Hello? Is she gone? Yes, I made her go home. Good. Where are you? In a very dark place. I see. So look, I'm sorry that I made you angry earlier. I was just messing with you, of course. I'm Eric. I know. And I'd like to see you again, so maybe I could meet you in a bar or a coffee shop? What does that mean? I'm gonna find you, Eric. And when I do, I'll make you pay for what you did to me. What the hell are you talking about? Hello? Hey, Ellen? She's gone. Due to the nature of the threat, Detective Starr will be working with me henceforth. Happy to have you aboard, Detective. Thank you. After conferring with Detective Tanner this morning, I got to thinking, how many young women by the name of Ellen could there be living in a community of 32,000? And? Surprisingly, there's over 100. However, only two of them match the profile that we've created for this particular person. And unfortunately, they both have alibis for last night. So where does that leave us? We asked our boss to authorize posting of a squad car out in front of your home. However, he turned us down. It's a resource issue. But here's the good news. We believe that if Ellen actually saw you, she'd know right away that you're not Eric. We believe it's entirely possible that your voices are similar, and that's why she's pursuing you. But just to be on the safe side, we recommend that you install a high-tech security system. We're barely making ends meet as it is. We simply can't afford it. Well, do you own a gun? No. No. Well, we never like to encourage anyone to bring a weapon into their home, but in this case, you may want to consider it. Sorry. Not an option. Well, then all we can suggest is that you keep your doors and windows locked at all times. 
And don't go out at night unless it's absolutely necessary. Well, actually, we were going out tonight. Here's to four years of unwedded bliss. And they said it wouldn't last. <laughs> Can't believe we're actually toasting with water. Oh, after the other night, I don't even want to look at booze for a while. Oh, I hear you. Okay. Don't look now, but some chick is staring at you from across the room. Seriously? D I said not to look. You don't think it's Ellen, do you? Why don't you go ask her? <laughs> what would I say? I don't know. How about, hey, are you the psycho bitch from hell who thinks I'm Eric? Yeah, but the detective said that Ellen is looking for Eric, not for me, so... Okay. Get up and walk to the bathroom. But I don't have to go. I just want to see what she does. Fine, I'll go wash my hands, okay? Your food is coming right up, ma'am. Thank you. Sure you don't want something from the bar? Positive. <laughs> What happened? She just took a picture of you. Terrific. <laughs> Detective Tanner, this is Chelsea Watkins. Yeah, we're fine. But listen, I think we might have found Ellen. Sí. Muchas gracias. Gracias. So, we'll wait, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Evening, folks. Hey, detective. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. Well? My name is Tammy Edwards. Her divorce is final today. And she thinks Tyler's hot. I get that a lot. Oh, here we go. Sorry to waste your time, Detective. We appreciate you coming down. No worries. It's my job. Speaking of which, are you two still looking for work? Banquets, unless I get to bartend. Still, it was sweet of Detective Tanner to recommend us. Huh. No calls. Ah, oh, would you look at that? Maybe she got the message. One can only hope. Oh, man, babe, I am gonna sleep in so late tomorrow. Oh, no argument here. Oh. Nothing. Come on. Shit. Where's the flashlight? Uh, in the kitchen drawer. Chels? What? Come here, quick. If you're looking for the coffee, it's inside the... Holy shit. What happened? You tell me. How am I supposed to know? I didn't even open the fridge last night. I'm gonna go check the doors and windows. Ugh. Everything's locked up. There's no way anybody got in here without a key. Well, I guarantee the fridge didn't open up and expel its contents by itself. Thank you, I understand that. I don't know, maybe... One of us is sleepwalking or something. Ain't buying it. I don't know what to tell you, Chels. I thought it was funny when your divorcee stalker brought a handsome date. 
Yeah, well, you know, she was just trying to make me jealous. Hey, we left the doggy bag in the car. Oh, I'll go grab it. going on. I don't know. Come here. It's gonna be okay. That security system is starting to look pretty good to me right now. Uh, yeah. Did you leave the door open? No. Wait, did you pick up my jacket? No. Well, that's weird because I distinctly remember tossing it on the couch. And I saw you do it. You sure your aunt didn't have a few house keys floating around out there somewhere? No, we had the locks changed before we moved in. Decide to install a security system. This guy will work with you on the price. All right, thank you. Okay, we're a phone call away if you need us. some coffee on. Ugh. No. Ugh. Stay in bed. It's Sunday for Christ's sake. Can't we sleep in one day a week? No, baby. I got stuff to do. Mm. Mm. Hey. Hey. Anything weird going on this morning? Actually, no. Thank God. Yeah. Hey, babe, have you seen my wallet? No. What's wrong? Is that supposed to be some kind of a joke? Holy shit. Did you know about this? No, I didn't open up the refrigerator this morning. Get rid of it. find my wallet. Right where you left it. Well, that's weird because I haven't been outside yet. Whatever. You get rid of the rat? Yeah, I did. So look, I just got off the phone with Bobby. What do you say we head down to LA for the day? Man, that shit is unreal. And the cops think that this Ellen chick is somehow behind it all? Bro, I don't really know what they think. Can I get you guys anything else? Oh, uh, no, we're fine. Awesome. Thanks. I'm good. You know, this ghost line thing reminds me of a TV show I saw as a kid. What was it about? Well, there was this telephone pole next to a cemetery. And from his grave, a dead guy was able to communicate with an old lady over the phone. Or something like that. <laughs> Pumpkin, are you suggesting that they're being haunted by a ghost? Well, think about it. First the phone calls, all at night, by the way, the threat, and now all the bizarre things happening in their house? Heather, you're letting all these ghost hunter shows go to your head. I mean, you don't really believe. I, I think she's onto something. Come on, don't tell me you believe in that bullshit. Do you have a better theory, Ty? It's ridiculous. Is that right? Okay, Mr. Tough Guy. 
You two can come stay with us for a couple of nights. I'm done with that. Mm, not me, sorry guys. You told me yesterday you were dying to see their house. Yeah, but not with all this shit going on. Good call, girlfriend. Well, I'm still coming. Actually, man, it's probably best to wait it out a couple weeks just until we get all the stuff sorted out, you know? Uh, by the way, Heather, I am so sorry you did not get that part. Oh, thanks. Oh. You know, the frustrating thing is that old creep ended up casting an actress whose only real attribute was a huge rack. And I don't even think they were real. Surprise, surprise. I just think a really good night's rest is gonna do us well. Yeah, I think so. What the hell? Oh my god. Shells. Look. We need to talk. Look, whoever's doing this is just trying to scare us away. Well, guess what? It's working! Tyler, I know it's hard for you to fathom, but what if Heather's right? Chelsea, it's gonna take a lot more than this to convince me we have a ghost living in our house, okay? Hey! I'm not done talking to you! I'm just going to lock the front door and then hit the bathroom, if that's okay with you. <sighs> okay. Come on, Chelsea, I gotta take a pee. What, are you gonna make me go outside? Chels! Who are you talking to? Okay, look, you might think I'm crazy, but what happened last night reinforces my belief that something very evil is in our house. You mean like a demon? No, I'm thinking ghost. What are you thinking, Tyler? All I can say right now is my belief system is in a state of upheaval. You know, in the law enforcement profession, we have to choose our words very carefully when it comes to controversial issues, such as the paranormal. As you can imagine, we're trained to approach every situation from a common sense point of view. I told you they wouldn't believe us. No, that's not what we're saying. Off the record, we believe that there's a distinct possibility that what you're experiencing is, in fact, paranormal activity. Okay. Okay, so how do we deal with that? I'm gonna recommend someone for you to talk to, but first, we wanna bring you up to speed on our investigation. We located the folks who had the number that Ellen originally called. Okay. According to Mr. Detweiler, the main reason they left town was to get away from their nephew, an unemployed construction worker by the name of Eric Chambers. Apparently he'd been mooching off them for years. But here's the interesting part. Eight years ago, the police questioned Eric regarding the disappearance of his girlfriend, Ellen Pendleton. But unfortunately, there was no evidence of foul play and Ellen's body was never found. We also need to point out that since then there's been seven other unresolved cases of missing women in Lovejoy. Was this Eric guy suspected in any of those cases? No, here again. No bodies, no evidence. Now about your little problem.
So then Marina and I decided to form the Lovejoy Paranormal Society, or LPS for short. But we're not restricted to Lovejoy. Scott and I investigate hauntings all over the Southwest. Hmm. So as ghost hunters, what's the craziest thing you guys have ever seen? Go ahead. Well, I guess that would have to be the apparition of a woman we encountered at the old Linda Vista Hospital in L.A. a few years ago. And you saw her face and everything? It was more like a human-shaped shadow. Let me tell you something. It scared the crap out of us. I think you have some new admirers. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that earlier. <laughs> Can I say, babe, when you got it, you got it. <laughs> Boy, I remember the good old days when the cute girls used to look at me like that and smile. And now they laugh out loud? Yeah, pretty much. <gasps> Anyone like any more coffee? No, thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, so how do we do this ghost hunting thing? Well, actually, it's very simple. We just need access to your house for one night. Oh. Okay, yeah. Getting a damn thing. I'm beginning to think these folks are just messing with us. You know what? Let's just do an EVP session. Okay. What time is it? Coming up on 2 a.m. You want to pack it in? Might as well. We're just wasting our time here. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the wind. Hey, Justin, grab your camera. Let's go. Copy that. My battery just croaked. I'm gonna go get a new one. Okay, but make it fast. Where the hell did 
Justin go? Uh, Scott? What? Man. Oh my god! Let's try to make contact. Seriously? That's what we do, isn't it? Yeah, but... Hi, I'm Scott, and this is Marina. Are you Ellen? We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk. which you traditionally described as malicious ghosts. In my opinion, what you have is a poltergeist. And a very pissed off one at that. Did you guys catch her on tape? Unfortunately, no. What does she want from us? We have no idea. How do we get rid of her? Listen, I can't vouch for this guy's credibility, but he claims he could rid any house of any malicious spirit. Mort Castleberry? I would call him if I were you. Listen, we gotta go. Aren't you guys gonna come back and pick up your stuff? Yeah, but do us a favor and put it all in your driveway because we're never setting foot in that house again. So this is Ellen, huh? Yep. She's very pretty. So what are your plans? Chelsea wants to leave. Well, I can certainly understand why. Thank you. And I assume you want to stay. Look, the way things are going with our acting careers right now, this may be the only opportunity we ever have to own property again. Not if we sell it and use the money to buy something else. Nothing's selling in this town, Chels. Plus, even if we were lucky enough to find a buyer, we'd never get what it's worth. Tyler's right. This is one of the most depressed real estate markets in the state. So in other words, we're stuck in this goddamn place? You know what, just take the car and go back to LA. I'm sure that Bobby and Heather will let you crash with them for a few days. Are you serious? Look, maybe if I'm in the house by myself, Ellen will reveal herself to me and I can finally prove that I'm not the guy she's after. No. If you're staying, so am I. Chels, we have no idea what kind of- Excuse me. Can I make a suggestion? We really appreciate this, Detective. Mm -hmm. Well, like I was saying, Got no family or social life to speak of, so it's really not a problem. <laughs> and look, if we're gonna be roomies for the next few days, feel free to call me Nick. All right, cool Nick, thanks. Now look, there's somewhere I need to be. But you just got here. Uh, I know, but I'll be back before dark. Don't worry. Is there somewhere I can put this back? Oh, I can take it. Yeah. Yes. Is that why you're here? To talk about Alan Pendleton? That's right. Well, nothing's changed. I still have no idea where she went. You two are pretty close, right? Yeah, you could say that. Then we have good news for you. How so? We believe she's back in town. Really? How do you know that? Well, for starters, she called your old phone number, which was given to someone else, and she asked for you. Huh? Then they're the two people who claim to have actually seen her. Is that so? Sure wasn't someone who just looks like her? No. They made a positive ID. Mr. Chambers, I'm confused. I thought you would be thrilled to know that she's alive and back in town. Of course I am. I mean, why wouldn't I be? We want to let you know that because of this new information, we've officially closed her case. Whatever. Have a nice day, Mr. Chambers. Yeah. One more thing. The people who saw her, they said she seemed very angry. Do you have any idea why? Uh, no. Chelsea, the sauce is delicious. 
Thank you. It's my Sicilian grandmother's special recipe. Well, I haven't had a home-cooked meal in a long time, let alone one as tasty as this. Considering what you're doing for us, it's the least I could do. Well, as a bachelor who survives on takeout and fast food, I sincerely appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So how did Eric react when you told him that Alan was back in town? In a word, surprised. Where did you find him? He was in this dive bar down in Pine. Turns out the son of a bitch is a regular there. Hmm. You didn't mention anything about Alan being a ghost, did you? No, of course not. I, I didn't want to spook him. Pun intended. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, more wine, Nick? Yes, please. Hit me. I'll hit you. What? It was her. What happened? Ellen, she was just on top of me. Where'd she go? I don't know. You guys turned on the light and she left. I'll check out the house. Babe. Vincent. Hi, I'm so sorry. Where were you? I was turning off the TV. TV? Why was that on? I don't know. Maybe Nick forgot to turn it off earlier. Sure, it wasn't a dream? Yeah, I was definitely awake. You think it was Ellen? Yeah, I mean, her face was all. Shit, I can't even describe how terrifying it was, but it didn't look anything like the picture. Well, I'll stay up tonight in case she comes back. We'd appreciate that.
What's up? What the fuck was that? What just happened? What am I doing in here? Why the hell are you on top of me? You tell me. Is everyone all right? We wouldn't have been if Tyler hadn't woken up when he did. I'm so sorry. Look, under the circumstances, I think it's best if I go home. Oh, it's okay, Nick. It's not your fault. I think you were possessed by Ellen's ghost. Wow, have you come a long way. A few days ago, you refused to even acknowledge the existence of ghosts. And now you're suggesting spirit possession? Look, coming face to face with something as terrifying as Ellen's apparition is enough to change anyone's perspective on the spirit world. Plus, the whole possession thing makes a lot more sense than Nick simply waking up in the middle of the night and trying to shoot me. Actually, the concept of spiritual possession exists in many religions, including Christianity and Buddhism. I studied religion in college. Look, it's obvious that up to this point, Ellen has just been screwing around with you, but I think in light of tonight's event, it's perfectly clear that she wants you dead. We can't allow that to happen. I agree. And that's why I think you should get out while you still can. Sure, we can leave, get lucky and sell the house, but what if Ellen were to stick around and terrorize the new owners? I mean, what if they had kids? I see your point, but... He's right. Whether it's our fault or not, we're still responsible for Ellen being in this house. And now it's up to us to get rid of her. Well, it's very admirable, but how do you propose to accomplish that task? Have you ever heard of a ghost eradicator named Mort Castleberry? Cleansing tools such as sage, incense sticks, and holy water are effective in reducing negativity and removing minor ghosts. But eradicating a troublesome spirit, such as the one you describe, will require much, much more than that. So how does your whole detox program work? Well, it's a common question. I can't give away any trade secrets, you understand. But what I can tell you is that it conforms to the six basic principles of spiritual practice, which has its origins in my research science foundation, which is dedicated to bridging the known and the unknown worlds. How long will this take? Another common question. That depends. It could take all night. And you're sure you don't want us to stick around? Or? No, no, that's not necessary. I prefer to work alone. Okay then. Okay. Uh, I guess we're out of here. Uh, will a check be okay? Certainly. <laughs> I know where you live. Hmm. I should be done here in about an hour. Yeah. No, they're nice kids. They're just, you know, gullible like most of the people who believe in this crap. Yeah. Well, I'll be there when I get there, okay? All right. Bye. people ever eat? Alan, you and I need to have a little chat.
something creepy about this house. Case in point. It's probably an open window. I'm getting too old for this shit. Mercy, if you let me go, I'll, I'll never bother you again, I swear. Guess I showed that stupid bitch who's boss. Oh, crap. Oh. Coroner confirmed that the cause of death was a broken neck. Oh my God. How did this happen? I think we all know the answer to that question. Look, what we have here is a very sticky situation. We know for a fact that you two were elsewhere when he died, but there's no way we're ever gonna convince our captain and the DA that our perp is a ghost. Then how will you explain it? The only logical explanation is that he was killed by an intruder. Okay. <sighs> Ty. Hmm. What is it? I was just thinking that if we could get Eric to come here, then we could finally convince Ellen that I'm not him and she would just leave us alone. Mr. Jansen, listen to me. Eric Chambers is bad news. You don't want him anywhere near you or your lady. Trust me on that. A much better plan would be for the two of you to move out of this house and leave town immediately. We'll consider it. In the meantime, this house is a crime scene. Until we complete our investigation, you'll need to stay elsewhere. She snapped his neck like a twig. Holy crap. Please tell me you're not going back there. Are you too nuts? Ty has a plan. To do what? Get yourselves killed? Look, all we need to do is find a way to lure that asshole back to the house. Tyler believes that seeing Eric will make Ellen realize that she's haunting the wrong guy. OK, let's say this works. In light of what happened to Mort, how do you stop her from killing Eric? Good question, babe. The way I see it? That's his problem. Okay. Hold it. Oh, come on, girl. You used to run circles around me. Give me a break, will ya? With all the crap we've had going on lately, jogging's been the last thing on our minds. Yeah, well, truth be told, I could use a breather myself. Oh, oh. it's a text from Tyler. Uh, he says the audition was a huge waste of time and he'd much rather be jogging with us instead. Bummer. Is he at the apartment? No, he's at Costco. Says he'll meet us at Jerry's Deli at one. Sweet. <laughs> he also says don't forget to shower, but not together. Ain't gonna touch that one. What time do you think Heather will be done with her shoot? Uh, hard to say. Could be kind of late. <sighs> what time are you and Tyler heading out tomorrow? 
I'd say near later than noon. Oh, I wish you could stay longer. Me too. And listen, we really appreciate you guys letting us stay at your place. Oh, hey, you do the same thing for us. Mm. I just wish you'd have to go back to that damn house. Last one to the bench buys lunch. Hey! Cheater. You do understand why we have to go back there, right? Yeah, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. Believe me, I'm not 100% sold on Tyler's plan either, but right now it looks like our best option. Bobby, a man died in our house. I know, but are you absolutely sure it was Ellen? I mean, who's to say that it wasn't an intruder? It was her. Look, we just don't want to lose you two. Not gonna happen. Okay, if you're bound and determined to go through with it, then please reconsider my offer. Bobby, you know how I feel about guns. Besides, neither of us have- Girl, why are you being so stubborn? I'm not. It's just, I- Then do it for me. And Heather. Okay. I'll talk to Tyler about it again tonight. Thank you. I just- can't wait for all of us to be over so we can go back to focusing on our acting careers. Look, I hear you. Uh, we should get back. Yep. Hey, you want to race? No way. I'm going to quit on my head. Chicken. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm a little bit surprised to see you two back here. Well, it's our home detective, and we've got every right to fight for it. Why have this gnawing feeling in my gut that you two are up to something? I don't know, Nick. Maybe it's something you ate. Yeah, you really should lay off that fast food, buddy. I hope you guys aren't planning on doing something stupid, like perhaps making contact with Eric Chambers. No, don't know what you're talking like, we're about. not that stupid. I don't like you know said, he he's a like really like bad it's, dude, no. so it's. By the way, even though he signed off on the intruder theory, the DA may still want to talk to you at some point, so keep a surprise to your whereabouts. All right, will do. You sure you want to go through with this? I don't think we have a choice. Hey, Betty, give me another. I don't think so, Slick. Your tab's already out of control. Come on, doll. You know I'm good for it. When's the last time you worked? A while ago. But look, I got a big job coming up next week. I'll pay you on Friday. The entire tab? Every cent. OK. But if you let me down, I'll 86 your ass faster than a hooker at a truck stop. All right. No need for drama. Thanks, sugar. Uh-huh. What'll it be, hon? A uh, glass of wine. House will do. White or red? White, please. You got it. May I help you? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stare. I'm just not used to seeing women like you in a place like this. Women like me? What I meant to say was classy and attractive women like you. Ah, bet you say that to anyone with tits. Honey, watch out for this one. I haven't seen you around before. Are you new in town? I've been here a while. I just don't get out much. So what brings you out tonight? Well, if you must know, I just booted my no good boyfriend out of the house. And I'm in the mood to celebrate. Are you now? My Merrick. Diana. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you, Eric, I haven't laughed like this in a long time. You're a real fun guy. More ways than you know, baby. 
But it's getting kind of late. I should go home. Come on now. I thought you wanted to celebrate. I do, but... Uh, look. I've already had one DUI. I can't risk getting another. I hear you, doll. And I've got the perfect solution to that problem. Which is? Got any booze at your place? <laughs> Whoa, cowboy. I barely know you. Hey. We'll have a few drinks, a few laughs, and then I'll go home. Mm. Was there someone murdered on the street last week? Yeah, it was only four houses down. Tragic event. Uh, so make yourself at home. I'm gonna get into something more comfortable. You got it, doll. Precious grapes still on the vine. Don't tell me. The no good boyfriend? Guess again, asshole. All right, man, just stay cool. I will if you will. What the hell is this? Some kind of a shakedown? We just want to talk. About what? About what you did to Ellen. Ellen Pendleton? I didn't do nothing to her. Yeah, you sure did. You killed that poor girl and then disposed of her body. Hold on now. The cops just told me that she's back in town. So I couldn't have killed her. Oh, she's back all right. Just not how you think. Ellen, you want to come out here and meet the real Eric? Ellen, here's your chance to get even with the guy who murdered you. Man, you guys are batshit crazy. Tyler! Let her go. Put it down, man, or I'll cut her. I'm serious, I'll do it. make it look like a home invasion. Yeah, that'd work. Now I just have to decide whether to shoot you or cut your throats. Look, we're not gonna say anything to anyone. I'm gonna make damn sure of that. What a shame. I was looking forward to having some fun with you. Maybe I still can. I'd rather be dead. Look, if you're just gonna kill us, why not tell us what happened to Ellen? Sure, why not? Dead people can't talk, right? Yeah, you'd be surprised. Well, it so happens that Ellen was my first kill. There were others? Oh yeah, seven to be exact. But you know what? The first one was by far the sweetest. Get your filthy hands off of her! <laughs> the stupid bitch tried to dump me. <laughs> yeah, like I was gonna let that happen. Come on, man, let's just talk about this, okay? <sighs> she begged me not to kill her. But the more she begged, the more I wanted to choke the life out of her. Eric, stop! Just stop, okay? I'll give you anything you want. I'll give you this goddamn house. Just stop! <sighs> but since I gotta make this look like a home invasion, it just makes more sense to shoot you. These eight women you killed, 
How did you dispose of their bodies? Buried them down the road from my uncle's house. Ellen got the nicest spot, though. Right under an old scrub oak tree. Now that I got that off my chest, it's time for you two to die. Is there someone else here? Uh, maybe. Why don't you go take a look? I believe I will. Don't go nowhere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I know you're here somewhere. I'm gonna find you sooner or later. So you might as well show yourself. Hello? Thanks to the information you were able to extract from Eric, we already found five of the eight bodies, including Ellen's. Mm. And it's only a matter of time before we find the other three. Mm. Well, at least it will bring closure to their families. Indeed. Okay, well, we'll let you folks get back to what you were doing. All right. Hey, thanks for everything, detectives. Thank you. Folks, take care. Thank you. you. Notice how pleasant it's been around here the past few nights? Mm, it's been pretty nice not having to sleep with one eye open, huh? Another unknown caller. Should I answer it? Yeah, there's no sense in being paranoid. Go ahead, put it on speaker. Hello? Hello, Diana. Diana, I'm not... Who is this? You don't recognize my voice? Eric Chambers? Yes. We have some unfinished business, Diana. See you soon. <laughs> ah! 
I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You shouldn't have run or did the things you've done. I'm coming for you. You shouldn't have lied. You shouldn't have lied. You shouldn't have lied. I'm not.